Okay, welcome everyone to this new video in cell biology. In the previous video, I talked about the synthesis and modification of the cell membrane's proteins. In this video, I will be describing the synthesis of the cell membrane lipids. So how are the different lipids uh, made for the cell membrane inside a cell? So first of all, I'm going to describe in words how or uh, how the process takes place inside a cell. And then I'm going to show you visuals and figures uh, to simplify all these steps. So first of all, the synthesis takes place in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, specifically the outer leaflet of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum membrane. If you remember from my previous video when I talked about the production of proteins uh, inside a cell, I said that the rough endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for the production of some of these proteins through a process called co-translational translocation, which is one of the types of translation that happens inside a cell. Now, in the case of lipid synthesis, smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the organelle responsible for the synthesis of lipids. Okay? So proteins rough ER, lipids, smooth ER. Now, the chemical process is as it follows. We have two fatty acids that exist freely in the um, cytoplasm, and then we have something called glycerol phosphate, which is also found in the cytoplasm. Now, these two are bound together through a chemical reaction, making something called diacylglycerol phosphate, now, this final product will be part of the membrane itself. Okay, so these two in the cytoplasm, they bind together, making this, which will be then part of the smooth ER membrane. Now, the next step is the phosphate head, because here, as I said, diacylglycerol phosphate. So this is the head of this product. Okay, so the phosphate head is then replaced by whatever lipid is needed by the cell itself. So if the cell, for example, if the cell membrane needs uh, phosphatidylcholine, then this phosphate is then replaced by another phosphate and choline. Okay, so uh, again, these two are bound together, making this product, diacylglycerol phosphate, which is part of the membrane. Then the phosphate is replaced by whatever lipid the cell needs. Okay, so if it needs phosphatidylcholine, then the phosphate is replaced by phosphate and choline. If the cell needs phosphatidylserine, then it's replaced by phosphate and serine. If, it's, uh, uh, if it needs phosphatidylinositol, then again, phosphate and inositol, etc. This is how um, glycerophospholipids made, okay, because we have a glycerol here. Now, there are other types of lipids, for example, sphingolipids uh, are made in a similar way, but instead of using glycerol, we use something called sphingosine. Okay, this replaces the glycerol. So, uh, glycerophospholipids are made this way, sphingophospholipids are made that way. So, uh, we replace the glycerol with the sphingosine. Okay, like, uh, for example, sphingomyelin. Sphingomyelin is made in a similar way, but without the glycerol and with sphingosine. Now, after the final product, after the production of uh, whatever phospholipid or whatever lipid is needed by the cell, we have something called flipases. These are uh, proteins or enzymes that flip the lipid to the appropriate leaflet. Now, as I said before, this process takes place in the outer leaflet. So uh, certain types of lipids are actually assigned for certain leaflets. Some of the lipids are made for the outer leaflet, like phosphatidylcholine, uh, usually exist in the outer leaflet. Okay. Uh, other types of lipids, like phosphatidylserine or inositol, are made for the inner leaflet of the any membrane in the in the cell so the cell membrane or the membrane of one of the organelles for example so this enzymes then or these enzymes flip 
the final product, the lipid, to the appropriate leaflet, okay? Again, I'm going to show you all of these in the next uh, slide visually. So the final product now, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, so if we have a, uh, a glycerophospholipid or a sphingophospholipid or whatever lipid that we have, after it's finished and it's assigned to the appropriate leaflet, it's then transferred to its destination, okay? And this happens either by vesicles, okay? So a vesicle is detached from the ER and then goes to whatever organelle or destination uh, via, for example, via Golgi body uh, to the cell membrane. So vesicles are detached from the smooth ER membrane. They go through Golgi body to the cell membrane or by another way, uh, through an enzyme or a protein called phospho phospholipid exchange protein. Now this protein, from the name, it basically ex exchanges the different types of lipids. So it takes the lipid uh, that was made from the membrane of the into smooth endoplasmic reticulum and then delivers it to its destination. For example, the membrane of the mitochondria. Now let me show you how this whole process works. So, as I said, the first thing in the cytoplasm, we have fatty acids, and then we have glycerol phosphate. These two bind next to each or bind to each other, making something called diacylglycerol phosphate, which will be part of the membrane of the smooth ER. Okay? Uh, now, the phosphate head is then replaced by whatever the cell needs. For example, in this case, the cell needs phosphatidylcholine. So the phosphate head is replaced with another phosphate and choline. Okay, these two bind together, making this. And then the head, the phosphate head, is replaced with phosphate and choline, making phosphatidylcholine. Uh, if the cell needs, again, uh, something else like inositol, then phosphate and inositol, etc. If it, if it needs a sphingolipid, then it uses sphingosine instead of the glycerol. Now, the third step is the flippase. So the protein basically flips the final product to whatever leaflet appropriate. So if this is made for the endoplasmic, for the cell membrane, for example, then this is usually assigned for the outer leaflet of the cell membrane, as I talked or as I described in a previous video. This usually exists in the outer leaflet of the cell membrane. So why is it made here in the inner leaflet? Because the inside of the endoplasmic reticulum equals the outside of the cell. So this leaflet inside, it will face the outside or the outer leaflet of the cell membrane. Okay, the same happens for the both the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and for the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, in the case of phosphatidyl inositol, it will be made or flipped here on this side because this will face the cytoplasm in the cell membrane. Now, uh, how are these different lipids transferred? As I said, through either vesicles. So here you can see that this became here, the outer leaflet, which will be then attached to the cell membrane and it will still face the outer leaflet. Uh, this is one of the ways. The other way is through the phosphate exchange protein. So this protein will take this specific lipid and it will deliver it to whatever membrane uh, or for an organelle or the, maybe the cell membrane itself. Uh, whatever membrane needs these lipids. Okay, just a final note. Uh, inside ER equals outside the cell, as I said. This will face the outside or the non-cytoplasmic face. So if this is made for the um, uh, mitochondria, then this will face the inner environment of the mitochondria. And this leaflet will face the cytoplasm or face the outer leaflet of the mitochondria. So this concludes our video for today. If you like the video and the content of this video and this channel, then please like, share, and subscribe. 
you may also visit our website for uh, further updates in the future. Thank you very much and see you in future videos.